Be humble, bitch. Sit down. Be humble. I'm Dom Jackson, Day by Day Media, and this is my daily vlog where I document the process of me building my agency, Day by Day Media. And that intro was inspired by the Kendrick and Drake beef going on right now. There's a, a lot of alignment between business and culture, hip hop and competitiveness that comes with business. And with all that being around the culture right now, I've been thinking about all the moments that you have to humble yourself while doing something new. So with the outreach process, with the getting clients process, with the understanding what you're trying to do and being unsure where you are going next, it's all new things you're doing. And it's all new things that are going against the curve of what normal people are doing. Most people are not trying to be entrepreneurs or they, most people are not trying to be entrepreneurs and actually doing it. So when you're in it and you're actually doing it, you're not gonna feel good the whole time because you've never been here before. Everything you're good at, everything you've done before, you know how to do, so you know how to handle it. So that's just, I'm telling you what I've been telling myself when I have the days, I'm like, ah. Also this video today talking about uh, you know, since now I'm focusing on building a video ed editing agency now, I saw this video talking about how to build one. And, you know, they said go after other agencies and then, you know, it's be the, like the guy who gets the, the extra work from them. So I built some strategies, hit up people there. So now I'm video editing as a whole. I give you a short form content. I keep going the podcast route or do that for agencies. So like if someone has a agency the social media agency and they outsource their their editing i can go get that so it's all the same process really just go through find the contacts make a personalized email personalized dm have an offer pitch it volume you know i did um i sent some emails today and then i sent a bunch of dms too uh the thing is that when i was making the the work for them making the like crafting the emails I actually like the process of more, even I'm using ChatGPT to do most of it. Like figuring out what to put in the introduction or like find the little thing I put in, cause I put a little message. So I have the 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 headlines usually the same as the subject for the email and the DMs. But then before they get to my part, I put a little blurb of something that I saw on their page, on their thing. Like for instance, one of the people, they had a Dom that worked in their agency. They had their team page. I was like, oh, well you already, had, you already worked with one great Dom. Why don't you add another one? It's like finding little things like that to have little like moments that they find when they read my stuff. So hopefully they do it. And even if they don't do it, I'm now in the habit of now putting out more effort into each thing that I do to stand out more. And it's the reps of doing that over and over and over again and the skill set of that that I really like to enjoy more, enjoy a lot more now. So I think about all the people that are like, yo, you should get a job, you know, do something else, da da da, all these things. And going against the culture, then also finding myself enjoying more of the things that are that I have to do anyway. Like, it's like, oh, like, I like this now. This is more fun, you know, getting up now. It's it's the best part, because like, all right, cool. I'm more comfortable doing this and I'm enjoying it more. And it's gonna be a point where this is like my best part. But the next thing I'm like, ah, I don't wanna do this, ah, but I can do this and I can do this. I really had to put that mindset on today. Like, now I'm like, all right, I get six hours of sleep every day. You know, so every time I get done doing my other stuff, six hours later, that's when you get up, start the day, because you don't got time to be BSing. And I have to figure out, you know, what time I have to do to learn it. What's my learning time? What's my content time? Because the three, there's three main things I have to focus on. Outreach for direct marketing. Then my content strategy for how I'm going to have content. Because content will give me clients by the end of the year. And then like the actual servicing itself. And adjusting for each one as I pivot and grow into each version of it. So to develop my next YouTube and LinkedIn strategy, I'll put that on here too. And put more thought into it. Because if I'm not going after the podcast beginner niche the same way, the more the video lane, it's either like, like I said before, the case study thing, or maybe content on how to edit things a certain way. Or if I go short form, I might do a video and have a layer, a short form video to go from like a video like this, which is very much unedited, just raw, then like the cuts, then like the graphics, then like the, the color grading, then like the, the music, the B-roll. So I'll make one as like a step-by-step -step phase to each one, because there's a lot of layers that go onto it and you kind of got to storyboard the whole thing for any video, but with a short form video, it's a lot in a minute that like, I think will be very useful for a lot of people. So at least they can have that. And then I'll build some authority with that. Um, that's where it's been. So like, you know, being humble, sitting down, understanding that one, you know, you are, I am doing things that are against the culture. So you could be inspired to never been before. 
and most people won't understand unless they're in it. Like when I talk to a lot of people in entrepreneurs that are doing things, people that started it, did it, people that have been doing it for a long time, it's like, oh, you're crazy. And like, I'm crazy too. And that's like the first thing. And then being okay with being, you know, I'm not good at this now, but it won't be like that forever. And being like, hey, you know, your own body, brain, and self is gonna be like, no, don't do this. Until you get to the point where you're like, oh, I kinda like it. And then besides that point, everyone around is gonna be like, ah, until you make it and like, oh, you know. And just being able to understand that's a process that's gonna go through every single time I get to a new phase, a new evolution, new version of myself, and new version around me. What comes with that? And, you know, one thing that I really start to like now is that, you know, I saw it in a couple different places. I saw it in her, one of her Moses videos and my cousin, my cousin Chris told me too when he was in medical school that, you know, 100% of doctors are gonna get sued at some point in their career. And Moses said the same thing, like, you know, you get, you get sued all the time when you're rich. And there's a certain level where like, no matter where you are in the game, the bad things, I don't think sues really, getting sued is ever a good thing. But the things that are not as good that you wouldn't want to happen are part of being on the spot of like, you're good now. You know, you made it to the point where people want to do things to you that aren't ideal because now you're that caliber of a person. So now I'm like, all right, cool. Like I sent some emails today. I'm getting emails that didn't work. I'm getting sent back things or like people saying no, like that's good. I'm a new level now where like people can tell me no and emails don't work. And you know, people might make a joke about me doing something, working too hard. Like that's good. I'm on a new level now. And people are noticing or the universe noticing, God's noticing, however it's gonna be, I'm getting pushback. So whatever pushback you're getting for going to the next stage, it's okay. Like, like it. Cause you're only getting more. As always, take it one step at a time, you'll get there day by day.